Hey guys, so today I've been stocking this product for a while, waiting for it to come out, and it's finally come out, and it's a new Adapalene treatment, uh, and it's uh, $29.99 for the tube, and interesting little fun fact, so I've been using Differin for probably two or three years now, and and I did a video recently about the Proactive Adapalene and the Differin Adapalene, and Fun fact, this is exactly the same as the other two. So definitely pick up the cheapest one. The La Roche Pose will probably be on sale occasionally. The different is on sale occasionally. And the proactive one is usually the most expensive one. I think this one's like $36. Uh, and then the different is usually about $29.99. And uh, the other new Adapalene is also $29.99. Although at yeah, like Ulta and things like that, this brand is often on sale. Like buy one, get one half off. Things like that. So it might be more economical to economical to pick up this one. They're all identical. There is no difference in the formula at all between the three of them. So I'm not exactly sure why this one costs seven more dollars. Maybe it's the brand name, Proactive. I don't know. And Differin kind of seems like almost like a generic brand. It was the very first one to come out with the Adapalene Differin. Uh, the percentage of them is all the same. They're 0.01% or 0.1%, sorry. So it's a pretty uh, effective retinoid, and it can treat breakouts. And there's also a lot of suspicion that it also will help treat fine lines. It's very gentle. Uh, I can use this with uh, pretty much all of my other skincare products in the same routine and have no issues. That doesn't mean you should do that, especially if you're just starting out with it. But definitely when you work up to using it every day, it's pretty gentle. It's one of the more gentle uh, retinoids that are out on the market and if you've used uh, tretinitin, definitely very um, intensive on your skin. So can be very irritating, but different is much more friendly. So if you haven't tried any retinoids for breakouts or wrinkles or anything, this is a nice one to start out with because it is rather gentle. The formula is fragrance-free. It doesn't have an exciting formula other than the uh, small percentage of adapalene that's in there. There's really nothing else in there for like antioxidants or anything else. Got a pretty short ingredient list. But overall, it's a pretty effective formula. As long as you use it with a good skincare routine with uh, other products that contain antioxidants, hydrated ingredients, things like that, uh, you should be good. So uh, just thought I would do a quick review. I was pretty excited. I was waiting for this to come out for like months, and it finally came out. So now it's at all the stores. So anyway, I was excited. I thought I had a suspicion that it would be identical to the other two, and I was right. Gosh, I'm so smart sometimes. Not all the time, but once in a while, I get something right. So Anyway, definitely pick up whichever one's cheapest for you. You don't have to go and buy the name brand or Proactive when it's more money. Uh, so if one's on sale, definitely pick it up. Uh, the sizes on all of them are all the same. Nothing else is different, just the packaging. I don't know. It's exciting packaging. The Proactive one's a little more shiny and sparkly. Maybe that's the $7 difference. I don't know. So anyway, I just thought I'd do a quick review. And uh, if you guys were curious about it, definitely worth giving a try. Just be sure to start out very slow because any retinoid has the capacity to irritate your skin. So always start out slow. So uh, anyway, those are kind of my thoughts on all these guys. And uh, anyway, definitely leave a comment if you guys have used this or if you've tried one of these. Which ones do you like? If you have a favorite. I don't know. My favorite's whatever's on sale. So <laughs> anyway, definitely leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.